Hi everyone, it's me, Willow, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a get the look from the hit TV show from Norway called Scum. If you've never heard of Scum, it is a TV show from Norway, and it is in Norwegian, so you can look up Tumblr for like subtitles and stuff, but it's a really, really cool TV show. It has three seasons so far, and each season features around one character. So the characters are Eva, Nora, and Isaac. And those are the three characters that I'm going to be showing you today to be able to get their look. So each character is really different and each season's really different. I highly suggest the show. I will link it down below and at the end of the video I'll explain a little bit more about how you can watch it. But it's just a really good show for teenagers as it it's very relatable, um, dealing with stress and different issues that teenagers face daily. And I just think it's a really, really cool show. So, I'm going to first start off with the main character of season one, which is Eva. So, I'm going to be showing you guys hair, makeup, and outfits. So, let's get started. So with Eva, you can tell that she has a really natural and simple makeup look, which I love because it's just so true to teenagers these days. So for Eva's makeup look, we're going to not do a whole lot to our face just because you don't have time to put makeup on every single day. But to start off, I'm just using this color corrector concealer, which is green, which helps block out redness. Um, I'm just personally using this because my acne, I find, is quite red, and it helps control that. So I decided to put this in the video just to help anybody else who needs that. But honestly, you can just skip this step if you want to. So I just put it around my problem areas, which is like my cheek, my chin a little bit, and my forehead a little bit, and just blending it out. Then I'm using this BB cream from CoverGirl, which is in the lightest, lightest shade. And the reason why I'm using a BB cream instead of a foundation is because when you're at school, personally I find when I'm wearing foundation, my face ends up feeling very heavy and greasy. And if you use a BB cream, it's much more lighter and much more manageable. And it's even actually faster to put on in the morning. So I decided to use a BB cream instead. And I'm just blending that out with a damp beauty blender. And just going to blend that all over my face and down my neck. Next thing I'm going to do is take this hard candy camouflage concealer and just put it over my problem areas and my dark circles. But one thing that I really, really love about Scum is that you can actually see some of the actor's blemishes. And it's just so amazing because teenagers today, we have acne. We try and hide it sometimes, but if you're like me and just don't want to deal with putting makeup on every single day, it's kind of really like inspiring to see on TV that they aren't like globbing makeup on the actors. They're just like showing, well, yeah, everybody has acne, so you might as well live with it. So we're just using this concealer to try and help kind of control it if you guys want to. So I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender and my fingers all over my blemishes and dark circles. So I'm just going to set all of that with this CoverGirl powder and I'm just going to do that under my eyes, my chin and my T-zone where those are the most greasiest places um, just to try and help control that. With that we are done Ava's face and now I'm just going to do my eyebrows because there's not a whole lot going on with Ava's eyes or lips so I decided to just fill my eyebrows in to try and make them look a little less sparse and just to have a little bit of makeup going on. So I'm just filling that in with an angled brush and a dark eyeshadow and doing it really lightly, not trying to go super bold because Ava's brows aren't that bold and sometimes you don't have that much time in the morning. But I think this kind of just pulls the look together and eyebrows are really in right now so I feel like a lot of people will just like skip their eyes and just go for the eyebrows. Alright, so the final thing to Ava's makeup is to add some mascara. Just gonna apply that to my top lashes just to kind of complete all the look and just to kind of make my eyes look a little bit more wide. So now you're done with Ava's makeup look. I really like it just because it's really simple and quick to do in the morning and I just think it's really natural and I like it. So for Ava's hair, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of hairstyles that she usually wears. Her most common hairstyle is just down and her hair is quite long and wavy and I think my hair actually looks quite like hers. But just do it however you want, curl it if you want. My hair was quite curly that day so I didn't bother but yeah. 
Um, another hairstyle is a half up, half down bun. So I'm just going to take the top section of my hair, twist it into a bun at the like around my the nape of my neck at the back of my head. Um, I'm just going to secure that with an elastic. And then after I've done that, I'm just going to kind of tug and pull some pieces out at the front to try and frame my face and try and make it a little bit more looser. really like this hairstyle. Ava does it a lot, and it kind of keeps your hair out of your face, especially with long hair. So, I don't know. I really like it. looks cool. Um, next hairstyle is really simple and quick, and Ava wears it a couple times in the series. All you have to do is kind of part your hair deep on one side and then pull all your hair into a ponytail at the side of your head. And then you have basically a side ponytail. It's just really cool and nice and quick and you can pull out a couple pieces at the front to frame it. And I just think it's really nice but it's really quick to do in the morning time if you are late. And then one of my favorite hairstyles that Ava wears which I can relate to because I have such long hair and you just want it off your neck sometimes is to just pull it into a loose bun at the back of your head. It's really simple and quick. You can do it literally in like three seconds either at school or if you're late in the morning. Just secure it with an elastic and then it can look really nice if you like loosen it up at the front and pull some pieces out. I don't know. It's really cool. I really love Ava's um, makeup and hair just because it's so easy and quick and natural. For Ava's outfits, I have three outfits for everybody. But same with Ava's hair and makeup, her outfits are really simple and quick and easy to do. So I'm wearing a burgundy top, you can't really see it, and some black leggings. Either wear jeans or leggings, it doesn't really matter, Ava wears both. Then I'm pulling on this grey hoodie because Ava wears a lot of hoodies and actually wears a lot of grey sweaters and hoodies. So I'm just pulling that over. And then I'm taking this black jacket and putting it over top of that. Norway is really cold and on the show they wear a lot of layers so more layers the better and then I'm putting on Ava's signature beanie. Ava wears a lot of beanies on the show she really likes that and it's really nice and it'll keep you warm and then I'm just gonna put the hood over top of that because she likes doing that. So this outfit is basically inspired from episode 8 I believe of the show. I think that's what episode it's from but it's this outfit and I think it's really cool and it's basically sweats but it's kind of more put together with the leggings and it just looks really cool but it's actually super comfortable and easy to wear. So yeah I really enjoy this outfit. Outfit number two is one of the more dressier outfits Ava wears and it is inspired from episode four when the girl squad is going to Chris's party but it's really cool and cute. Um, all I have on is like a quarter sleeved purple dress, really cute and loose and then I'm putting on some vans. Ava loves her vans, always wears them. Then I'm taking a denim top and wrapping it and tying it around my waist, layers, 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 layers. They love their layers, but I wear this all the time. Like, I'll take a plaid top and wrap it around my dress or my skirt or something. It just is really cool. And then I'm taking the same black jacket as before and putting that over top of that. Then with your side ponytail, you basically look like Ava. She wears these outfit a couple times in the show where you have, like, a dress and she ties something around the waist. And if you wanted to throw, a, like, a a hoodie on or a hat on it's still very Ava and can keep you even more warm I don't know I think this is really cute and dressy but it's also super simple but it's also like super Ava so yeah really enjoy this outfit and yeah really pretty so the final outfit for Ava is kind of just like a summary of everything she wears so I just threw on a simple gray sweatshirt. She wears sweatshirts all the time, some with patterns, some plain. I don't know, it's just really simple and easy. And then I have some ripped jeans on. Do whatever type of pant you wear. Ava just wears whatever she wants. I don't really know what type she wears, but I just decided some, with some jeans. And then I put on a infinity scarf. Ava has this really pretty yellow infinity scarf, so if you have any, I just suggest wearing that but I didn't so I just wore this black one and you can't really see it well but this um like beanie is red so whatever beanie you want to wear wear it because Ava loves her beanies 
but I think it's really cool and this is a really simple and nice outfit because if you're at school for like six to seven hours you want to be comfortable and Norway's really cold and I can relate to that because Canada's really cold so having the layers of the sweatshirt and the scarf and hat just keep you extra warm so yeah I really love Ava she's just simple and cool now moving on to Nora. Nora's makeup is a little bit more um, done than Ava's. She likes her makeup definitely more than Ava does, but it's still very natural and simple. So I did the exact same makeup as I did for Ava, except I did do my brows a little bit more than um, Ava does. And now I'm taking a white eyeshadow and just placing it all over my lids just to kind of give more makeup but it's still super simple and quick to do in the morning. And then I'll take a black eyeliner and tight line my top lash line just to give the lashes a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to apply some black mascara to the top and bottom lashes just to complete the whole eye look. Then I'm taking a pink blush and just applying it to my apples of my cheeks just because Nora's skin tone is just so pale that adding some blush will liven it up. And then I'm going to take her signature red lipstick and I'm just going to take a lip brush and start off with lining my lips and then slowly work my way in with the lipstick and just going to fill the whole lipstick in. And with that, you basically just have Nora's signature makeup look. Moving on to hair, I'm going to show you two hairstyles. I only did two because Nora has way way shorter hair than I do. Just showing you guys two, but she wears these all the time, so it's still it's cool. So part your hair down the center and then just straighten your hair. That's basically the hairstyle Nora wears all the time. Sometimes she parts it down the cen like center or the side, doesn't really matter. The next hairstyle I'm doing is a half up down hairstyle. So I'm just gonna take the upper part of my hair and I'm just going to tie it off into a ponytail um, and then going to straighten the rest of my hair. If you want to look way more like Nora with your hair, get like a short bob haircut. But if you don't want to do that, hopefully these two hairstyles helped you. So now I'm going to move on to the outfits. So the first outfit is kind of Nora's most iconic outfit, which is her like blue striped shirt outfit. So this is the closest shirt that I have to hers but it also is from H&M and a lot of people say that hers is from H&M. If you want to get more looking like hers then buy more of a long sleeve shirt but yeah this is the only thing I had so I thought it was pretty close. And then the next thing you also want to wear is some black jeans. I don't have any black jeans so I'm just wearing black leggings but it has basically the same effect. So leggings, jeans, doesn't really matter. She also really likes high-waisted, so if you want to get black high-waisted jeans, that works. Um, and then some sort of like black loafers or like Pennyworth shoes will work. So yeah, really cool outfit. Love this outfit. Next outfit is this blue sweater outfit. Nora wears blue a lot, so any type of blue sweater you can basically look like her but this is inspired from I don't know what episode I think this is from like one of the last episodes in the series but just taking a, bl a blue like a dark blue sweater really like this sweater it's really nice and I'm taking the same black leggings if you want to do jeans do jeans doesn't really matter and then I'm going to take the same black coat that I wore for Ava and put it over top um and yeah layers layers I don't know um, I thought this was really close to an outfit that Nora has. So yeah, and then I decided to put my hair in up-down hairstyle because that's what it was like in picture. But yeah, this is a cool outfit. I like it. For Nora's final outfit, I have a black turtleneck on which is short sleeved and it's also a crop top which I think is actually really similar to the top Nora wears and I think this is also is this either the second last episode of her season or the last episode of her season not quite sure and then also her mom jeans unfortunately I don't have mom jeans I wish I did so I'm just wearing these high-waisted skinny jeans but it still looks the same as her outfit also if you want to look really similar to her put a belt on and I don't have a white coat so I just decided to put on this um, 
beige cardigan, but it still has the, like the same look to her outfit. So if you have a white coat, put a white coat on, or some sort of like light cardigan, it will still have like the same effect. So yeah, I really like this outfit. It's very preppy and like kind of androgynous in a way, and I think that is really like Nora's style. She really likes that type of style. So yeah, that is the end of Nora. So now I am moving on to Isaac. And I'm not showing you any makeup or hair look for Isaac just because he's a guy. You can do whatever makeup you look for him if you want to. If you're a girl or a guy, it doesn't really matter. And also, I don't have as short as hair as Isaac. So in the outfit, I have my hair down in a ponytail and in a bun. Just giving you guys diet, like different effects of hairstyle for girls but if you're a guy you can do whatever you want with your short hair so for the outfit number one this is kind of just a casual outfit Isaac wears um, just a white t-shirt or any type of like graphic tee if you want and some jogger pants and then I'm throwing on his um, pre-drink plaid shirt whenever Isaac is having a pre-drink with his friends he wears the same plaid shirt. Now, I don't have a blue plaid shirt, so I'm just wearing this red one, but if you want to have more close look, then wear a blue and black plaid shirt. It will look more like it. And then also throwing on a signature snapback. This isn't a snapback. I don't have a snapback. It's just like a baseball um, cap, but it looks the same. If you want to be even closer to him, have a maroon snapback for this outfit, and then the blue um, pregame flat top but I only have this like white one but it still looks cool I think it looks awesome I really like this outfit it's really simple but it definitely looks like Isaac so yeah I really enjoy this outfit for Isaac's second outfit this is kind of just a summary of a bunch of outfits he wears so any sort of like white top or graphic tee could work and then either jeans or I'm wearing these jogger pants that look like jeans so joggers, jeans, doesn't really matter, he wears both of them. And then I'm throwing on a hoodie, sometimes Isaac wears two, so if you want to wear two, throw on two. Then I'm just going to zip it up and throw on this windbreaker. Um, Isaac wears a lot of like sports, like hoodies and jackets. Isaac has like so many jackets, I don't know how many he has, but he really likes like the vintage windbreakers and even varsity jackets so if you have a varsity jacket you could throw that on um i don't know this is just a summary of it a bunch of outfits isaac has wear throughout season three and i don't know i think it looked really really close and i was admiring myself in the mirror after i put the snap back on because it just looks so close to like these three outfits that he's worn and yeah i was really really proud of this outfit just because it looks so close to some of the outfits isaac wears and i don't know what it is if it's either scum or norway but the layers, more layers, more hoodies, the better. You'll look more like Isaac if you throw on like two hoodies and the windbreaker or the jacket or then a scarf or something. But yeah, I thought this outfit was really, really close to a lot of outfits Isaac wears. And like I said before, I was super, super proud of it. For Isaac's final outfit, I actually bought a couple of these pieces because... It looks like this outfit I'm about to show you, and I love it. It's probably one of Isaac's most common outfits, but it's this white knitted sweater and the black joggers from the first outfit. And then it's this bomber jacket, and I found this at Winners, and I think it looks basically the exact same as the bomber jacket that Isaac has, because it's the orange on the inside and it's green on the outside. So just rolling the sleeves up to have the orange out. And then I'm going to put on this red um, scarf he has. His is more maroon than red, but I only have this red one. And his is just a scarf, not an infinity scarf. So do whatever. Um, and then you can either pair this with a snapback or a hoodie. He has done both. So do whatever. I think the snapback actually looks more like Isaac um, does. This was from season three, so the most recent season. And then the one with the beanie was from season one so if you want to put the beanie on it also looks like um an outfit Isaac has worn in the past so i think this is probably Isaac's most like famous famous outfit besides the like the jesus t-shirt and i don't know i thought this was a really cool outfit and i actually wear it all the time i usually don't wear the hat but i don't know i bought these pieces just because it looks like Isaac's outfit so yeah i don't know i just really enjoyed it
With that, I have now completed the get the looks and you can look like Eva, Nora, or Isaac from the TV show Scum. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and find it helpful. Now I'm going to explain how you guys can watch it. It is a web series and I will link it down below, but it's scum.p3.no so you can look that up on the internet and all three seasons are there so you can watch it. If you're in Norway you can watch it on NR3 I believe that's what the channel is but it's by Julia I think that's how you say her name Julia Julia and she's an amazing writer and director and I'm just so happy that she decided to make this TV show for us teenagers like I said before the show is in Norwegian so if you don't understand Norwegian you can just look up scum translations and basically there's a bunch of translations and you can be able to watch the show so yeah I hope you guys were all inspired from this this video and decide to look more like the characters from scum I know I really enjoyed filming this video and deciding to find all these outfits and stuff but yeah I really enjoy the show scum and I hope you guys are now inspired to watch it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye